Hey guys, how you doing? It's almost the end of January. I hope January was good to you. Ah, we are almost winding it up. <laughs> Some people say it's the longest month in a year because you people, you spend so much time celebrating Christmas and money. <laughs> By the time you're in January, ah, you're so drained. <laughs> Since I discovered the secret of not celebrating Christmas, oh, at least I didn't have so much pressure, but I didn't really have so much money anyway. <laughs> I'm trying so hard to work on my music. I'm still not known. My music is not known. And when you're not known, you can't make any money from music, but I'm not willing to give up. Ah. Uh, I want to keep trying and to keep pushing. Look at that beautiful sunset. My camera, of course, is not doing it justice because I'm using my phone. But with the time, when you guys subscribe to my YouTube and I'm able to make good money, I'm going to get me some nice camera so we can be sharing these nice sunrises and sunsets together. <sighs> I've been at my shop since morning. So I just decided to have a, a little nature walk to uh, um, stretch a little bit and talk to you people, find out how you are doing, wish you a beautiful uh, uh, what evening, morning, I don't know where you're watching from, whatever time it is. <laughs> yeah, so guys next month is the month of i don't know how to call it maybe the month of love and blessings and everything combined guys in my family we have uh, uh how many birthdays like five birthdays <laughs> is it even five or six I can't have enough of that sunrise, sunset. Look at how beautiful that is. Ignore the house. <laughs> you know, these iron sheets are not things we used to do as African people. We used to um, use the, the grass and there was no such stuff as rust and stuff like that. So sometimes modernization is not all that, you know? It comes with its challenges, but I'm not saying that uh, we should live in grass-thatched houses, but I'm just saying we don't have to throw away everything that our ancestors did as primitive and, and wrong. They had their reasons and their good reasons, because through the grass-thatched houses, we could actually still get the sun, the sun rays through the roof. And we could also still get the moon rays through the, the, the roof. And, you know, as melanated people, the sun gives us serotonin and the moon gives us melatonin. And it does a lot of good to our bodies. All right, guys. So, yes, I was telling you about the birthdays in my family. We have... We have... Uh, like five people like five people celebrating a birthday in my family like almost within uh a, a, within a period of two weeks right so the main main date is 28th february and on 28th february i share the birthday is my birthday i'm turning 39 and then my firstborn son trevor is also celebrating his birthday he's turning 15 we were born the same day same time <laughs> same way <laughs> guys when my mom heard me her water broke a day before i was born when i was having my son my water broke two days before my son was born so it's magical guys very magical good to america what is the mukare? Ah, that's the name of being your son. So, yeah, so and then a week after us, 
No, wait. On 28th Feb, my niece, no, my nephew, my nephew, I sent to my bro, born on 28th Feb. I think him is turning eight. He's turning eight, right? And then, no, he's turning ten. He's turning ten, sorry, guys. And then, um, on 26th, on 26th February, those are two days before our birthday, my niece, a daughter to my sister, my youngest sister, was born. I think she's turning 13. And then, on a week after us, on 3rd March, on th not on 3rd, sorry, on 6th, on 6th March, my son, my acting last one, my son Dexter, was born. So, guys, those are so many birthdays in a span of two weeks or within a week same month so oh, when i was in us okay before i went to us i used to go from office to office maybe i should do this again this time because i'm really trying to raise money on facebook i'm not succeeding yet so i used to walk from office to office and share with them that i have this project about street children that time i didn't have money and uh, I would like to share a meal with them. So maybe once a month or twice a month or three a month. No, 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 not once a month. Uh, a year, like once a year or maybe twice a year or three times a year, depending on when I have the urge to serve and to share with those kids. So it doesn't really have any designated uh, uh, interval of time. And then they would give me money. I remember one of the managers for a local bank. Is it a local bank? Cooperative bank? Is it local? I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, he always supported me. And yeah, so much. And then I would go buy food from the ladies from the market. Sometimes we cook. Sometimes we have enough money. We we do what? Mm. We buy food ready, ready cooked, and sometimes we buy them clothes from the market. But sometimes people would give us their used clothes and shoes. So actually, I think, ah, I think the ancestors are trying to remind me that now that you're not getting the money on Facebook, go the local way. <laughs> This month, I think I'm going to go around again and see if I'm going to be successful walking from office to office. Yeah, so then eventually, of course, the Most High blessed me and gave me a connection over Facebook. You know, I'm not saying that you should trust everybody you meet on Facebook, but this guy was a professional called Hallerold of a program called The Miracle Morning. And he invited me to go and showcase a documentary, act in a documentary called The Miracle Morning Community because The Miracle Morning is a ritual that you do every single day, including prayer, exercises, and stuff like that. And it helps change your life in every single way. Every single way. So that's why I went, how I made it to America. Then when I was in America, I used to send money to friends and relatives. It's getting darker. It's now 7 p.m. here in Kisi, Kenya. Okay, so um, I would send money to family and friends to buy the street kids food. Actually, when Corona came, we bought 300 masks for the street children yes so i have 200 in my program so i had i added 100 for the other program you know street children are also organized in families they have a specific place where each family spends their time where they put their sick ones you know if one of them dies where they meet and, and mourn and whatever you know like that so but 
one uh, nice thing that I saw when I did an event for this December, I took cake for them, juice and biscuits, because the funds were limited. But we did share a few clothes too from uh, a friend. Yeah, so I noticed that the ones that we used to have that were very, very young, between 5 to 15 years, the Kisi County actually took them to school and that's really, really, really nice. They don't have to spend the cold nights out there. You know, they're human beings like us and their children, they're... Look at that, guys. Oh, my God. That sunset. I wish I could capture how natural and beautiful it is. But as I told you, my camera is still... Whew. Yeah, but we'll get there one day at a time. We'll get a nice camera someday. Yeah, so they they deserve to be loved. They're human beings. They deserve to have dignity in their life, you know. Uh, the worst thing about poverty is that it lowers human dignity. And I have a dream that every child in the beloved Africa should have a place to call home one day. Because... A place like America, they have a very nice program where all the needy children are in a home setup. There are no street children, but they are homeless people. At least, you know, those are elderly, they are adults. They can try to uh, survive. I can imagine if there was street children in America and the way there's winter, there's stuff like that. I mean, so many of them could die. So... It's a very good thing that they have such a nice, nice program to take care of those kids. I hope that such policies can be implemented by our politicians. The only problem with Africa is that our politicians are so selfish. They just want to eat, 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 and eat some more and steal so much so that for the next hundred years, their own families do not suffer. They don't really care about the, the masses. And it's sad. I think we are starting to have a change in politics where we are getting more selfless leaders. And it's commendable. Of course, for those who are selfless, I really applaud them. Yeah, so guys. <laughs> if you have something that you can contribute to my birthday program for this for next month kindly inbox me please will you <laughs> if you don't just send me your prayers so that I start going from one office to the other in Kissy Town uh, those hearts will be touched and they will give us something because I'm really determined I mean my happiness comes from sharing my happiness comes from uh, impacting bringing a smile at least at least one person at a time yeah so thank you so much guys for going for a walk with me I'm gonna go back to my shop because it's getting late and people are preparing to buy stuff for dinner so I don't want my customers to go. Thank you guys. Bye bye.